in Walmart and we are going to get some we're gonna go look at some vitamins and just when you go out to get your uh, hair stuff and things like that you want to know what to look for so we're gonna go over in that section that's pretty much all I wanted from down here since I'm having this issue with my hair <laughs> so we're gonna head over there Biotin, my honeys, is real good for hair, okay? But if you get like a multivitamin, then it will have biotin in there as well, so you don't want to overload with it. But you see they got it at 10,000 and then at 1,000, okay? So, I'm not really sure about uh, <laughs> how much more you would need versus another, but we're going to find us a... Uh, like a hair and skin type of vitamin and then a overall vitamin with B12 and all that extra stuff. So oh, my honeys, I have found this hair and skin. You know, keratin is also good for hair and all of that. But I feel like if you just get a hair and skin um, vitamin, it will have the keratin, the biotin, the vitamin E, it will have all of that in there. Now it says collagen support. That's for that skin, you know, it helps fill in them wrinkles and all of that. So let's see. What's the difference from these pink ones versus these green ones? I'm ashy, y'all. I forgot to put the humpy one on. Let me see, it says. Um Okay, so this one is green tub you get way more and it is a collagen support and it definitely says it supports hair skin and nails okay so it has all the nutrients for that and this one says uh it just has argan oil coconut oil and collagen we're gonna go with these with them peels it's not that big my honey now we got the prenado vitamin too my honeys because it's safe to take prenatal pills, even though you're not pregnant, especially to reap the benefits or whatever, because look at all of that. There's nothing out of the ordinary in here that will affect you. So this will be my multivitamin type of thing. You know, you know it's giving you goodness because it's really for mom and baby. So it's like, yeah, I'll take it. Versus I was going to get an iron too. Okay. And we don't. This got 27 by itself. Look how much iron is in this one. 28. So yeah, we just do this tomato. Me and they got some for y'all too. This is the perfect women's. Perfect men's. But I'm going to get a better one. It's just very in to take these little vitamins especially if your diet ain't right if you're doing a lot of drinking and a lot of drugging you can make up for that just take care of your body you know what i'm saying so put something back into it all right so um you're gonna need this body okay for some time now i'm only 34 so <laughs> i got about another 80 years i ain't trying to be messed up limping none of that i'm taking care of this body now so when it gets to that point, I'll be on minimal medicine and don't have to really worry about it. They got gummies. They got so much stuff, guys. I don't really know what I need. That's why I'm just doing a multivitamin. Uh, melanin. No, it's that melatonin. That's for sleep. Now, I will take that. And it's on the gummy side. I will use that because I do be needing to go to sleep. And this is a vegetarian one. Nobody want to take all them dang on pills, so the gummies is just fine. This helps you to go to sleep, my honey. It relaxes you and all of that good stuff. You got your omega-3. This is a fish oil. 
That's omega-3 is made from fish oil. Okay, it is very good for your heart health. For, for heart health and plus, okay? So, only thing these pills are huge. <laughs> Fish oil pills are huge. That will probably be like the biggest peel off the bunch. Okay. So, that's 500 milligrams. This one is 1,000. We have to make sure ain't no other omega-3 type of thing in your other um, supplements because then you will just be overdoing it. So, if you don't have, out of the three bottles that I got, if there's no omega-3 in that you know type of thing i could go ahead and add this to the roster a thousand milligrams of it and take it but um if it's a thousand in here and then you got 50 over in another um bottle or whatever you know it'd be over the amount probably we don't know how what's the amount so <laughs> don't give me the line but this one has vitamin e so that's good too for that skin and hair Okay, my honey, so this aisle is all of the hair shampoo and stuff like that. So when you're just looking for goodness, you pretty much at this point will probably know different names that you deal with. And, you know, and if you ain't, don't know, just come in this aisle and make sure you take 20 minutes. Have at least 20 minutes to do it. Because uh, we have never, I have never <laughs> heard of this brand. But when you see stuff like red flag, sulfate-free sulfate and all that, that's good. I see coconut. You know, that would attract me to come and see what they have. Like, okay, what are they offering? Because I know that coconut is very good for the hair and whatever. So then I go ahead and take it to the back, and then I go and read. So then, you know, if it's if it's reading and saying everything that I need and could help me, oh, okay, yeah, I, I think that's good. I have dandruff. I think that's good. I'm thinning. I think that's good. Then that's what you would go for, okay? So I've never heard of heritage. Okay, what do they ever do? An apple a day. See, stuff like that is motivation to make you want to read because you know that. Okay, then you go down the line and you see what it is. What's going on is the vegan, you know, for my vegans out there. And I love any system that has a shampoo, conditioner, and a spray type of thing. And then what's this, like a mask, you know? So it's always better to use a whole line of a product instead of having four, five, six mitch match. But come on now, it's okay to mitch match. If your shampoo does one thing and your conditioner does another thing, but they're all goodness, then we don't let that bother us. We will mitch and match. But I've never seen this. What do we say? Don't know what that is, but it looked pretty good to me. Okay. <laughs> but it's just different things, my honey. Like you just go through and see what it's saying. Like oh, I know y'all, I know y'all know these, because which one did I have? Remember I had this one? This the one I was using. So I'm kinda hip to them. But the store I went to only probably had that color. I would have never known they had all these other colors like this. So look, I went and recently got this one because my hair problem. I didn't know it was eczema. I thought it was just like, dang, your hair is dry. So I went and got that and it says that it soothes the scalp no, and all of that. So, you know, I was reading, looking for what I needed. I don't see nobody look at this one, say nourishing shampoo, thickening shampoo, anti-frizz, curl care. Like you just go, you know, you see this, you say, oh, biotinic collagen, that'll help my hair be thicker. Like, let me read what they do. You know, you turn it on around my honey and see what's up. You know, so that's pretty much how I go in and be looking for goodness for my hair. Okay, my honey, so we are back from Walmart. I just want to show you guys what I picked up, okay? So, when I know that I'm going through something, whether it's skin, hair, um, headache, uh, 
Whatever you could think of, okay? I go out and I get stuff that I may not have at the house. Usually when things are happening and going wrong, you're lacking something, okay? Something just isn't right because I personally uh, now have eczema, but I have never had eczema. So in my mind, you know, I really was not drinking water at all. Like the whole, since I had my baby, I really have not been a water drinker because... I lost so much weight with KJ, okay, and then I was like, to me, too skinny, okay? Black girls like their curves and thickness, and I had a little bit of that. I had nothing after the baby, so I was eating McDonald's. I was just going in on the fast food and junk food, and I'm really a healthy person. I don't do all of that, okay? So I probably took my whole body by surprise and was like, girl, what's going on? This ain't you. And then little things start appearing and happening. It has never happened before. So now it's like, okay, that was a trigger for me to say, let me get back on my stuff. I'm drinking water like crazy, okay? But not crazy because this is really only my second bottle of the day, and that's probably because I've been ripping and running, though at Walmart's doing all this extra stuff, but I am going to go through with y'all what I got from Walmart. Even though I went and got goodness, I got all type of goodness, okay? Let me just drink a little bit of this water. Oh, that water is so good, Cole, guys. I'm getting addicted to it, which is good because that ain't going to do nothing but bring back pureness to me, okay? It's going to flush me and get all this toxins out of me of why things are happening. But as you've seen... At the beginning of the video, I did end up getting the Hair, Skin, and Nails, which is Spring Valley brand. That's going to help me to get hair back, to get, you know, nails strong, and just all of that. Okay, skin, hey, I was not drinking water, so I feel like I'm... My body probably was dehydrated and it's sunk in here and it's a little darker. I don't have any makeup, but I do always put on my black liner with a lash on a regular day. This was a regular day for me. So if I got my hair, got something going on, I would throw on a lash and some liner and call it a day. And that brings me out and I get a lot of attention. I got that melanin for tonight. So like, you know, on them restless nights. And then I just got those Pernados, okay? Pernados has a bunch of different vitamins in it that, that you can't imagine, okay? So this, to me, is going to be equivalent to, like, women a day. Something like that. One a day women, I mean. Something like that. Because it still has all the good benefits on top of whatever is in here. Okay, this has two rows of goodness. One whole row. Two. So it's like them together is a boom. I had got them fish oil pills too, but I think they rolled around in the car somewhere in the bag. So I don't even know where they at, but I did get those. Then I got this planner. Okay, so it is a Monday through Friday planner, seven days. And then it's, uh, it's a.m. and p.m. So if you had to take something in the morning, then in the afternoon, twice a day. That's what this is good for. But since I don't have a, a medicine that I'm taking, my daughter chose the purple side, guys, and I chose the blue side. And we're going to put all these pills in here every day. And when you're taking vitamins on a regular basis consistently, you only need a good three days a week. You would not need to take it every single day for seven days. Now, if you lacking like I am right now, I'm probably lacking all type of vitamins. Yes, I'm, I'm going to go in for the kill for at least two weeks and give myself seven days. So that's 14 days straight that I will take every vitamin that I have. After that, my body is like, okay, we back. We, we feel it. We feel it. So I would do three days a week. It's not a biggie, you know. So we will only fill these up three days or what, whichever day. So I told her, if your days ain't gone by the week out, that's on you. You're not taking your medicine. So we'll keep track of each other with this. But uh, eventually she could get her own. They have one where it's no at the known. It's just seven days, one row. Okay, and she can been to got her own, and then I'll probably find me something like this melanin. That's a night pill. You know, I would put that in my PM side, and then everything else would just go for the AM or whatever, so I take them all together. So, yeah, that's just good to have to keep organized of what's going on because you will be confused. Like, did I take my medicine today or not? Can't go wrong with this. Boom, now that's on the health side, okay? On the hair side, I picked up this which goes with my little kit okay so this is a oil okay it's a mega thick formula hair oil i got the grease okay 
And I got the conditioner. I also got a leave-in conditioner. It's like a um, like a water base. It's real watery. It's in a bottle. And it's just water, and I put it on there, and I feel it running, and I just go like this, so it can run on every angle, then it eventually start running everywhere. <laughs> but it's it's the same family of this do grow. So you know, if you use a line of anything, it works better. This is more so cool. So when I have braids or you know something going on that I can't get in them crevices, I got this point, and that's what the, like this. You know, I don't want to part this and mess it up and do that with the grease in my finger, big old finger. I could just take this and go right in between my curls every day. Because this style will last a while, but y'all know I switch it up. I also got this. This is a thickening leave-in spray, okay? It is biotin and collagen. So I'm spraying this actually on the outside of me, but then I have these peels working from within, okay? Stuff like that. Now, I got, you see, I got all the thickening products or whatever. Whenever I use these, they're going to thicken and help my hair, so I'm good with that. I don't want to use nothing if it ain't thickening at this point because the top of my hair had that eczema so bad, guys, it looks terrible. I want it back, you know what I'm saying? And I got this. So even if I decided to use heat on my hair, this is Tresemme, and it is a um, a heat serum. Okay. Now y'all know I was living by this. I already had this. Okay. This was a heat protector up to 450 degrees. I like this. It's about go. Okay. So I use this on all my clients here before I put any heat on there. So this is Tresemme. I did like it. So I went and got these, which is, you know, this is for flat ironing. It says flat iron Tresemme spray, okay? So same deal with the other one. You spray it on there when it's damp and it's wet, and then you blow dry it through. Then when you go in a flat iron, this is supposed to be everything and then some. I never used it. We will see. So, you know, I went in there and I seen heat protected. Oh, okay. Then I seen flat iron. I said, oh, I do use flat irons a lot. That's how you look for different things, you know, and just know, like, this is a blow dry balm, okay? So would I be using both of these on my hair when I go to blow dry then flat iron? You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's really necessary, but this one definitely says blow dry and this one definitely says flat iron. So I probably would put a little bit of this on there and a little bit of this on there. And then when it's all said and done by her, these massage it through, get it all in there, and then I'll blow dry, then I'll flat on it, and I'm double protected, I hope, okay? I also got this, that cheese stuff. Y'all remember I was so in love with this stuff. It is, a, this is a, a heat protecting too. It's called 4-4 Iron Guard. So, you know, cheese is really good and expensive, so anything that's probably worth some money is probably a good, good product. So, I just got it because of that. And you never can use this enough because, or, you know, get too many. Because at the end of the day, my honeys, this stuff, I use it. You know I use my stuff. I don't play about it. I get to running out, what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to go get some more. At this point, I'm set for a couple of months. And they just said we is on a recession all the way till the end of April. Kids are not going back to school until May 1st, okay? Like, this stuff is serious. We don't know what's going on, but they are about to get real strict on us and make us stay in the house at this point. Like, ain't no come out. Ain't no run out of tissue and go back to the store type thing. So, everybody need to run out and get what they need. That's what made me go out today and get everything I need so I could sit it down for this whole month. Okay, y'all know I'm in the house anyway, so I really don't personally care, but I do because sometimes I want to run to the store and get this, that, and the third, but... If we already got everything we need here, ain't no point of running out, okay? But then guess what? You run out of stuff, and then what we supposed to do? Like, I just don't know. I don't know how they bought the players, but they bought the players. Okay, so on the makeup side, because y'all know I'll be all in that section too. I picked up an e.l.f. brow pencil. Now, I have picked one up before. Y'all know I, I messes with e.l.f. I love me some e.l.f. I picked one of these up before, went to use it on my brows. It wasn't the right color. It was more like a maroony looking type of thing. It was supposed to be brown. I put this on, tested it. 
I tested this on the back of my hand and it was brown brown. So I love the fact that it has that little tiny spigot just like my Anastasia one that broke, remember? So it's like, thank God I got another one that's equivalent and it's the right color. We're going to dive into that one day and just see how good this is and if it comes out matte and it stays on and all of that. I end up getting um, this. Remember I said I live by this pencil here? I had that one by um, Sephora. Where is it at? Okay, remember I had I had this by Sephora. Here it go, guys. It was this thing with the point. Remember I said I don't know my if mine's is drying now or what. That is not though. That's very potent on there. So you shake these up and you know. That gets deep in them little crevices or whatever. Straight lines. No wiggly. You know what I'm saying? And this one says break up proof. Which means you know how sometimes your wing get a little crunchy, honey. And it be chipping off or whatever. This is supposed to last 16 hours and be no chip. So we gonna see about that. I was looking so bad for a liner for my lips. Brown. Okay. I really need a brown liner. And I'm looking all over the place trying to be cheap about it. Okay. And I'm not finding anything. So I found this pencil. It's an eyeliner, but it says it's coffee. And it's a pencil and you sharpen it and forget door. I just liked it. The look of it is by e.l.f. It is by e.l.f. I'm going to tell you a secret. When I want to go line my lip nowadays that I don't have a pencil, my honeys, I use my uh, Maybelline. I sure do. I use that. This color right here is to the T of what color I need to outline my lips and do all of that. But I cannot find a pencil. Okay, now they say they got them at hair stores and all of that. I never even took the time to go in a hair store and figure it out. So, y'all remember my e.l.f.? Um... The glitter, I use that gold for the green. Okay, I got this blue one. <laughs> I end up getting the blue one because I didn't even know that they had another color. So I got the blue one, and then instead of a gold one, I got like a bronze one too. And then I got these. These are L'Oreal Paris, okay? These are matte lipsticks. So this, I'm looking for a decent nude. Like, I have been using my NARS. I love it. I love that NARS. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? This looks like it's almost the same color as it. So I'm learning that when you when I say nude, you got pinkish nude. You got oh, like a brownish nude. Okay, so every time I look at a color and think, oh, yeah, that's the nude I want. I really want like a brownish nude. But these are pinkish nudes. And guess what? I guess I like it. It's okay. But I cannot wear this without a liner. So I feel like I just got this brown. It has a, a nice point to it. Just to be my fake brown, my fake liner until I find a pencil. But guess what? If this does the job, my honey, I would not have to even worry about it. But I feel like we about to test this out right now to see if it would be the perfect brown for me. So I don't have to use an eyeliner. Okay. It could have been more defined to me, you know? Like, I would, I would really want that brown to stick out. So now it seems like I have to go in again and just outline that a little bit. Like I said, though, if nothing else works and everything fails, this one never lets me down at all. And also, uh, I had a, a more brown nudie. This is like a pink nudie. I had a more brown nudie, but my friend stole it or whatever. Like, I'm to the point I don't want nobody off in my YouTube room because that's where all my goodness is, you know. And 
Just because you come over here and see something, that don't mean take nothing because I know everything that I got. So by the time you leave and then I notice this, you know, something ain't there or everything that you would take from me, I use. So when I finally sit down to do makeup or do something and I don't have something, I automatically will look back at that person because nobody usually be in here. So if one or two people was in here, here and there, it's easily tracked, my honey. So just know that. Like, thank you. I found the color that I really liked it, and guess what? It was tooking. So that's pretty sad and depressing, you know? <laughs> Hate a thief. But anyhow, I got a swimsuit. That's pretty cute. So the whole stomach part is out. And then the back it droops down a little bit. It's not a thong, if y'all wondering. <laughs> but it is gonna have them cheeks out because I surely got hips, my honey. So you see how that cut is? That's gonna be that V on that butt. I love that, that's sexy to me, sorry. And I got a ton of panties and bras. Well, I only got three bras, but I got some cute panties. Ain't even going nowhere for a whole month. <laughs> like, girl, you getting panties for what? I'm sorry, my honey. They probably look huge, okay? But I have a real uh, issue with getting... These are large, so they're not that big. And when I put them on, they're going to look like a small, okay? Just because, I don't know, I think it's my hips or whatever it is. And they're not thongs, but they cute laces. They're pretty childish, but it's okay. I know that if this stuff... this you know, uh, academic, epidemic, whatever it's called, rolls over in the summertime here. I want to be a little childish this summer. I don't care. I want to shine bright like a diamond. So did you ever think to, I bought this bra. It's just a regular bra. I bought maybe three pair of panties. Okay, so three different times that I wear this bra, I could put panties on, different panties at each time. So... Did you ever think to do that, my honey's like, you know, you done bought a bra that got black in it, orange in it, whatever, and it's a set, okay? But since the bra has this and that color in it, and it may be lace, did you ever think to just go get four or five pairs of panties that would match that bra so that every time you may wear it, you will have a different panty or whatever? Like, I don't know. Now, I don't know. These may be too big because they are extra large. But these are a thong, my honey. And I just felt like I didn't want to have it too coochie cut. Let me put them back. I got them all close. It was. They were thongs, too. I don't really like thongs, my honeys. But guess what? Kale's stepping outside that box, okay? I'm about to be wearing me some little thongs. Because I think thongs do make my butt look bigger. And y'all know at this point, I don't even have a butt no more for real. So something is better than nothing. Give me a little thong, baby. So it could look like it's hitting for something, you know? But that was cute. It matched the bra to the T. It's just pink, but it got orange straps. I did not know it had orange straps. But it had some panties, too. And the panties, these are thongs. But they are uh little panties. They look like they're going to be like shorts panties. In the case of whatever and whatever, I got these. Because they got that pink in it. Okay. It's just a solid pink. And then it has that orange in it on this level. Okay. And they are thongs. So, I could switch this bra with anything at any given moment. You know what I'm saying? And not have too many bras curled up in my drawer. But a bunch of panties to go for days. You know, you could fold them up pretty small. So, I did also get like just a, a basic nude bra. That's just basically new, but of course I tried to find some little panties that match it. Different little pairs, so I got some thongs. Lace. It seems like everything is lace. They know it's that season or something. Now these ain't no thong. I mean these ain't no um lace, but they thongs and they cute. Okay, just on some nudie. Whatever. I don't know why. All these panties is extra large. I think because you know how panties like this run. They run small. They look all big. But when I put them on, it's still probably going to be little and tight. You never know. Oh, I got these to go with that, that pink bra too. And if you notice, these panties are like high-waisted. 
they're like high waisted because you know I don't I got like a little pooch down there at the bottom if you want to call it a fupa so I put that you know I like to put my panties over my fupa but I don't like to do it in the way of grandma you know I like to do it where it's just sexy type of okay so when you see that lace you ain't worried about oh she got her panties all the way up there like you ain't worried about that it's sexy so that is all I got for Walmart honey and yes I am going to be trying I'm not gonna try on the panties, but I am gonna try on the bra. Um, yes, I was thinking that the panties looked too big, but um, I know that I could fit them, so I may go ahead and just try one on just to make sure. Like, okay, I knew it. Okay, they be running small, they be looking big, but they really be running small. And then I'm underestimating myself, thinking that I'm so small, but I really don't be because when I put on this size and that size, I don't even know what size I wear yet. My honey's at the KJ because it's so I don't know different stuff stretch better and materials is different. So it's like if it's stretch, I, I wear nine. If it's not stretchy and all of that, I'd be better off getting a 12. You see what I'm saying? Because I want it to fit. If you have on clothes that's too tight around your midsection and it's not a, as flat as an ironing board, it tends to bulk over. So you got your shirt on and your pants, but you got this stomach bulking over your pants and looking, you know, I like for my stomach to tuck good, okay? So get me some fitted pants so therefore it's not cutting it off and making it fold over or give me some stretchy pants that it just... Hold it in place, okay? Something like that. So look at my curls. Everybody complimented me on these curls, my honey. Um, I mean, to me it was like a little froey, but no, now that I done got back home and look, you see every single curl defined. Like you know that that was roller set it. Like you know it, and it looks so full. And you know I'm going through it right now, and I'm all like way insecure about my hair, the wind blowing. I'm like, ah, oh, it's the ball spot. I'm show sure. all this and that, but I didn't even have to worry about it because I take the phone and look, and it was not showing because this style is full, and that's what I was going for, my honeys. If I gotta go in public. With this issue, at least not let it be just that noticeable, okay? So, I'm trying, I done try, and we're going to stay updated on the hair, okay? And especially now that I have my goodness, okay? I'm about to put my peels and my organizer. I'm about to go put all my hair care stuff up. I'm about to go try on this swimsuit and stuff like that or whatever. Okay, they are size 9. They are high-waisted, and you can tell they high-waisted because... Look how long the crouch is. So this will come up over the fupa. Okay, I'm obsessed with high-waisted pants. Look how stretchy they are. That's what you want. Whenever you um, pants looking, get it just like this. And that way you can get a size smaller. And that way it fits your butt and lifts it and just make it look perfect. Okay, and perky. But anywho, my honeys, that is it for the day. Let me know some more suggestions. Well, guess what? We won't even be able to go no type of shopping by the time y'all see this video. It's going to be on shutdown. So now we're in the house, okay? I will be going live more, okay? Every product here that I bought and I named to you, honeys, I will put in our Amazon store. How about that, okay? So that way when you go in there and you click on it, you can always go scroll down on it and look at the description on it. And then it tells you exactly everything that's on here that I didn't tell you, okay? That's how you look at products on Amazon. You're able to swipe down and look at and read up on it. And it tells you description of the product. And, you know, like um, when I be ordering stuff and I want to know what size it is, I go all the way down and it tells me the dimensions of it. Okay, this thing is 40 inches times this and that, 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 that. Versus when you're just looking at the picture up top, flicking through, like, oh, it looks big. No, I want to know. So, that's all you got to do. I'm going to put them down there. You guys check it out. Um, if you like anything on there, just purchase it and get it, you know. And it's all goodness. It's all going to, ain't going to do nothing but help you. <laughs> that's about it. But anywho, my hunties. At this point of the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one, uh, 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 the next one, uh, 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 dreamer. <laughs> no, I say dream. Y'all got something to say, dreamer, to my honeys. But bye, guys. Love you guys.